Hello, I'm Marsha Johnson, and together with my grandnephew Ryan, we are Marsha's Crafts. Today we're going to be making this lovely first frost. I'm using it for a wedding card, but I guess it could, it could be a birthday card too. It's not the kind of card you're going to make a bunch of because there's quite a bit to it. This card was actually inspired by Arely Johnson, no relation to me, um, and her channel is With His Gifts. Um, and she's on YouTube. Um, I loved her card and I needed a really pretty wedding card. I did change it up a bit. So anyway, um, you can go over to her channel with his gifts and see the original. Okay, let's get started. To make this card, you will need the first frost stamp set. You'll need the frosted bouquet framelits and we'll be using this one, this one, this one, this one, and actually a couple of the little roses and a couple of these, but I'll just put one over here and um, the rose die. So we're going to use, but actually we would use these two also. So the only one we wouldn't use is this one. All right. And then from the stitched labels framelits, we're going to use this die. And from the stitched shapes, we're going to use this stitch circle for ink colors. We have Blushing Bride, Pear Pizzazz, and Smoky Slate. I think we'll do our stamping first. I'm gonna bring in a piece of paper because I'm stamping off on some things. So let's bring in this piece, probably bigger than you need. As usual, the measurements and the um, materials required will be listed below the video. We'll be stamping this piece, the inside piece, the front piece, these are both the same size. This needs some uh, die cutting and this needs die cutting. And we'll be stamping our envelope. So let me move these to the side. We're gonna do these first. I'm gonna start first with the smoky slate and I am going to um, stamp my sentiment and I'm going to cut it out with a circle. So I wanna be sure to leave it kind of with a little, Fair, fair amount of space around it. So I'm just gonna put it up here. Okay, wishing you all the best. Then let's bring out our pear pizzazz and I'm just going to stamp this long leaf. I'm gonna stamp that right down here. Okay, and now I'm gonna bring in my sponge daubers. I have one for my pear pizzazz and I have one for my blushing bride. And to do these cards, I um, I found it was, I, I thought it was easy to use sponge daubers. I really actually used Q-tip, but that was way too time consuming for me. So um, here's what I did for the roses. Just took the blushing bride and you could just stamp these, but just in case my pad's a little bit too, juicy, I'm going to go ahead and just use the daubers. Stamp that right there. And we're going to use two of the smaller roses. Then we're going to do two of these kind of rose bud type things. So I'm going to daub my pink right there and then pick up the green and daub this all around. It's a whole lot faster, I think, with the dauber. Um, it might not be quite as precise, but I'm willing to live with it. So let's put that one down here. See how pretty that turns out? Isn't that nice? We'll do that one more time. Then we have one more image we're gonna stamp, but unfortunately we're gonna stamp it a whole bunch of times. And it's a fairly large um, and quite lovely image. Do the leaves in the green and then the little flowers in the Blushing Bride and then give it a little huff and stamp that down. Okay, that's that done. Now I'm gonna bring in my um, envelope and I'm gonna put the same image on the envelope so um, Ryan can kind of speed this up. We're gonna do this on the envelope and then the inside of the card and then we're gonna do the front of the card also. But go ahead, speed this part up, Ryan. Okay, next we're gonna bring in the inside of our card and we are gonna stamp the same image all over this card randomly. So again, it can be sped up so you don't have to sort of watch paint dry here. Okay, 
Okay, let's see if there's anywhere I want to maybe add a little bit of something. Hmm, that looks good. Okay, so next we would do some big shot work. You know I've already done it, but I will uh, kind of lay it out to show you how we would do it. Bring back in this sheet, and we would put this over in this corner. Put the circle around the sentiment. Put the little, those ones, just line them up. I'm not going to bother, but line those up, both of them. And line this up. Line these guys up. And there are two of those, so you could pretty much, if you've spread them out properly, you can pretty much do this, this whole part in one pass. And you would get all of those. Oh, and this guy. Almost forgot him. So you could really get all of that done in one pass. And then your glimmer paper and your smoky slate. I'm gonna do two out of this one. So I do this here and then turn it over and do it here. And with this, do one like this and one like that. That would be all done. And let's get our bits in here. So, as I usually do, we'll do the inside first. And normally I would use glue, but for the sake of time, I am just going to use this snail. Okay. And we're gonna take our, our piece of um, Blushing Bride and put that down. Next, we'll take the piece we stamped, put that down. Now you could put dimensionals under this layer or under the Blushing Bride layer, but I feel the um, basic flowers have a, enough dimension themselves. I don't think, don't really think we need anything else. Okay, then our um, label is gonna go right about here. So I'm gonna put some snail behind that and I'm gonna put down the vellum layer. Isn't that pretty? It mutes it just a little bit. I believe Aurelia actually stamped this off, and you could do that to mute it a little bit more, but I kind of liked it just like this. Then we're going to decide, well, go ahead and put this down too. She actually did two of these, put one this way and one this way, and made it look like a um, doily, but I think for me one's enough. And put it a little bit towards the top, not too much, just a little bit higher than the center. And then I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm gonna put that up on dimensionals. And I'm gonna put the dimensionals towards the center because I'm gonna be tucking things under that. And I'm putting it slightly towards the uh, right side, not very much, but just a little bit. And then about in the middle up to down of, of this piece here. Okay, then we're gonna decide where we want our things to go. I'll put one there. One kind of down there. And I'm just doing them at the bottom so that they kind of do pop up a little bit. I just think it gives a little bit more dimension and is just very pretty. Then I think I'm actually going to put my rows, my big rows. And what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to put a dimensional down here and a little bit of glue at the top. And stick that on like so. Then I'm going to take those two bud things and I'm actually going to put glue on the back of one and kind of cross them over together. And then I'm going to put some glue. Actually, I'm going to put it on the front and back. I'm not sure where these are going to get attached, but I'm going to put them behind the front rows. Oh, I think maybe a little over here. Okay, then I'm going to take our long sprig, my little snips, and I'm going to cut this bottom thing off. Then I'm gonna cut it again right about here. And I'm going to take this piece and stick it up there behind those little buds, kind of. Yeah, right about there. I'm gonna take the other piece and put it down. I'm gonna take one of my little roses and I'm going to stick it behind the big one, kind of here. And I'm going to take my other rose and put a dimensional on it. And then I'm going to place it right about here. 
Okay, I think that side's looking, oh, looks like that moved a little bit. Let's scooch that down. Then on the other side, we're gonna take this lovely image and I'm going to trim off this leaf, trim off this leaf and this one, and then I think this. Okay, so then I'm going to take this and, um, well, actually maybe I'll take the three leaves first. I'm gonna tuck that, I'm gonna have that go like that. I'm gonna take one of these leaves and stick that under. Okay, we'll do that. I'm gonna stick this other leaf right here. Let me go ahead and put this in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that other leaf and put it up at the top. And then I think I'll just take this and put it, tuck it in right like that. Then I'm gonna get some pearls, just cause I like pearls. And we're gonna take the medium sized ones and I'm gonna put one up here, one over here, and one down here. Now, Aurelia on her card, she put three right down here and that, that looked very nice, but I kind of like mine scattered out from my card. So that's the card. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, perhaps you could give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and um, come back and see us. We normally post uh, usually late, late Tuesday night, late Wednesday night, and we are normally um, live on Saturday at 11 um, Pacific Standard Time, but this Saturday at that time, I will be at my nephew Scott's wedding. So, in fact, this is their wedding card, <laughs> Scott and Kristen. We're very happy, and um, maybe I won't see you this week. Maybe I'll pop on if I can think of something to do sometime just randomly, but have a great rest of your uh, day and hope to see you soon.